Um, another name that was notably left off, though, of this roster that everybody was clamoring about is uh, one Derek Dietrich. Dietrich. Right. So my uh, prediction last year before the season started was that Dietrich would be the fan favorite. I thought I had, like, the perfect prediction the first month or two of the season. And then he really fell off due to injury, really. But when he came back, he just wasn't the same. They brought him back into camp when he really didn't get an opportunity from anybody else. And um, he, he, he had a good spring um, for the few weeks the spring lasted. And there's still room. There's 57 players of the 60 that they can have. And he's still under contract with the Reds. So he can't, as of today, jump to a different team. Um, a lot of teams are leaving room open because there will be players that are going to be available. And once they're on that roster, I mean, that's who you have for the year. So the Reds are probably just keeping a couple spots open just to have an opportunity in case they want to bring somebody else in. But um, I would in no way be surprised if Derek Dietrich is on that um, roster at some point in the near future. I, mean, he has- I was going to say... Sorry, I was you- just going to say, according, according to Mark Sheldon, um, you know, to your point, Dietrich is still with the organization, but they left him off to maintain roster flexibility, <laughs> and he could be added later. Right. He has to be on the roster because he hit a, a bunch of dingers in that uh, wiffle ball game um, that they put on, you know, earlier this year. I mean, I think he, I, I think he was MVP, wasn't he? I actually heard that the wiffle ball game translates to MLB pitching perfectly. So, therefore, he's going to actually hit a home run every single game this year. Solid. Nice. 